In a world of online business, a single misstep can turn a wonderful journey into a bewildering maze. Imagine you're in a busy market and all of the stalls around you are shouting for your attention. The market is super crowded. It's really competitive and you're finding it confusing because a lot of the markets out there are not very alluring. They might showcase their products, but they're not telling you enough about their prices or what you get. Hey, we've got a computer. We've got a computer similar prices but who do you trust who do you go for now imagine your website where you've provided a long list of services it's like a shop crammed with every product imaginable and all of the shop passerbys and visitors to your website are overwhelmed and unsure what are you offering do i need to know about all of these services what is different about them how many shops do you know put every product in the window when you're walking past them do they curate an only put particular products with particular prices and they staged them in a particular way. Isn't that what you should be doing with your website services as well? So when you get to the homepage, maybe you do have six services or you offer SEO and some analytical reports as well. But what do you need to put on the homepage to grab my attention to pull me into the shop? Ideally, your product should be catering for your ideal customer. So yeah, you might offer SEO, but is that your big ticket item? Is that the premium product you want to be offering? Maybe you do courses or memberships. What do you want to get out there? Look at your list of services and think very carefully about what you want to put on your homepage. But it doesn't just stop there with fancy pictures and a fancy title. You have to get me to understand a bit more. Remember the market stall? You've got loads of stalls around you and they're all selling computer products. They've got hard drives and they've got hard drives. But this store over here, tells you a bit more about the specification of the hard drive. Are they a specialist in it? Can you get some further support with them? Are they experts and they know that a hard drive inside out? Or do you just want to go and pay for that one over there because it had a fancy picture? Let me give you another example that might make more sense. Imagine a carpenter or someone who makes bespoke furniture, you know, desks, table, chairs, wardrobes. When you get to their website, there is a danger that they just show you all of the products. Even if they have thought about, I'm only going to show these three on my home page. They've really thought about it. That might not be enough because you could go to another carpenter website and they've got similar products and they've also just shown three on their home page. What they've also done is tell you a story, maybe about the craftsmanship, the bespoke design process, how this piece of furniture is going to add character to your home. Doesn't that sing and speak to you more? Doesn't that pull you in rather than just saying, hey, here's a wardrobe. When you turn a simple product into a compelling nature that resonates with the customer, they are more likely to either get you to build their website, work with their business, or even stick that wardrobe in the corner of their room. The key is understanding that your website is more than just a digital brochure. The mistake so many people make is they just showcase their services, but they don't really tell the customer or the visitor, what can you do for them? What is the problem you're going to solve? It's easy to say I build websites, but what is that going to do for me and my business? So rather than talking about yourself all the time, turn it on its head and talk about the customer. Make them the hero of your story, your website. What am I going to do for you? What are you going to get out of it? What are you going to miss out on if you don't go for this offer or this course or this web design? Think of their pains and problems. So if you're building a website for an accountant, are you going to have online calculators on there? Are you going to have the facility for them to share spreadsheets and documents? Are you going to show them how they can have an online portal system for membership? Maybe that's what they need to do for their own customers. Show them that you are thinking about them and their business area. They're the hero of the story, okay? You're going to be the Obi-Wan Kenobi that comes in and you're going to guide them. That's what you need to do. I've worked with web designers that build websites for dentists and they have like an area for blog posts and their blog posts are about WordPress websites or why do you need a website? Why do you need to think about SEO? But it's quite clear they've just taken generic information or they've chat GPT'd it and that's okay as long as you tweak it and they've bunged it in to create a blog post. Well, great, but their blog posts don't really cater or speak to the dentist. They might say, yeah, you need to think about your keywords and your Google search rankings, but wouldn't it have been better to tailor that blog post for dentistry? Dentist keywords, look at what's happening in the market. You're showing that you understand it. So don't just do generic blog 
blog post if that's your intention. In essence, avoid the online selling maze. Don't turn your website into just another stall like all the other stalls in the marketplace that are offering websites. You need to be thinking about what can you do for the customer, right? I understand you. I get your pain. I've been there. I've done that. I've got proof and evidence that I can help you out. Showcase to me that you can do it. And when you tell me about your services, don't just say five page website. Tell me the benefit that I'm going to get out of it. And even if your list of services are literally that five page website, 10 page website, e-commerce or whatever, make sure the paragraph above or the paragraph below, you know, depending on how you do your containers and sections, clearly demonstrate and show what you're going to do for the customer. We're going to help you to succeed. We're going to help you crush the market. We're going to help you get more clients. Don't just say, I build websites because everybody else builds websites too.